What is fulvic acid? Fulvic acid is an organic acid. It is the end result of actual very bottom last rung on the on the uh, on the ladder of decomposition of organic material. Okay, as organic material composts or decomposes into uh, more concentrated forms, the very last end of all that decomposition is fulvic acid. It is the culmination of thousands of years of decomposition of organic material. And what happens is you take thousands of tons of organic material and it all gets concentrated down into um, fulvic acid. Fulvic acid is, is a carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen molecule. It's a nanomolecule. And we, we extract it from humic shale. And humic shale is decomposed organic material that has been close enough to the surface to be acted on by the microbes in the soil. Very similar to crude oil and coal, how those things are, are produced. It's organic material under the ground. Okay, the difference here is humic shale was up close to the surface where oil and coal were under you know, far enough under the surface, they're under enough compression that it would create petroleum or coal. Okay, in this case, we have humic shale, and humic shale is high in humic acid, uh, which also which contains fulvic acid. Okay, humic acid is a fairly large molecule. It's predominantly carbon. It's a carbon, hydrogen, oxygen molecule. It's pretty large. Um, but it contains this nanomolecule called fulvic acid. What does fulvic acid do? Fulvic acid in our body regulates our body's pH. Okay, fulvic acid itself is a very acidic substance. Usually um, we have one solution, one fulvic acid solution that's a 0.3 pH. It's extremely acidic and again, totally safe to take internally because fulvic acid modulates the body's pH. So whatever the optimal pH would be of said tissue, let's say your liver or your stomach, okay, they're gonna have very different optimal pHs. Inside of your stomach needs to be, be a very low pH, whereas your liver needs to maintain a fairly neutral pH. And when fulvic acid gets into whichever organ it gets into, it optimizes the pH in those organs. So we have pH balance. The next is fulvic acid is a superconductor, a very, very powerful electrolyte. It conducts electricity. Although there are no electrolytes in it, it's carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. It's not a uh, uh, potassium, sodium, magnesium, calcium, <laughs> you know, uh, anything like that. Not those types of electrolytes. It's a superconductor made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And as such, it works to recharge our cells. So our cells actually carry a electrical charge. Once they've been infiltrated by uh, fulvic acid, and we, we've absorbed fulvic acid into our body, it's saturated our body, Fulvic acid enables our body, our cells, to carry an electrical charge longer than it, the cell would normally carry a charge. The longer a cell carries an optimal electrical charge, the longer the cell survives. Okay, so when it comes to prevention of all kinds of degenerative conditions, the longer you can cause the cells in the body to survive, the fewer or the longer it takes for uh, degenerative conditions to, to, start, uh, to start to show up. Um, also, it acts as a very, it becomes a therapeutic agent against those degenerative processes in the body. So um, we have pH balance, electrochemical balance, Next is number three and four. They're interwoven. They're inter. They're combined. 
Uh, fulvic acid acts as the the FedEx man in your nutritional system. Okay, uh, fulvic acid can bond to sixty times its weight in nutrition and transport it to the cell and even into the the organelles within the cell. Um, in doing this, in transporting these nutrients, it acts, like I said, as a FedEx man delivering uh, delivering the package. Okay, brings the package to the 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 necessary site. Okay, wherever it needs to go, and once it delivers that package, okay, there's 60 receptor sites that fulvic acid has. Okay, if we load all 60 receptor sites with um, with nutrients and those nutrients get delivered fulvic acid is a carbon based compound and one thing about carbon for everyone to remember is uh, the question with carbon isn't what can can carbon bond to it's what can't carbon bond to <laughs> carbon bonds to everything okay and basically what I tell people is this is a uh, a 60 passenger bus that's full of nutrients, okay, and every time it drops off a nutrient, it has an empty seat. But those empty seats have to be full. So when it drops off those nutrients, when the FedEx man delivers his package, okay, when we drop off one of these nutrients, it picks up waste or toxic material and fills that seat. Okay, so it doubles. FedEx man and garbage man. Okay, so there's both nutrient delivery system happening here and toxic remediation happening. So we get, with fulvic acid, we have delivery of nutrients, but then we also have removal of toxic materials. And so those are number three and four that fulvic acid does. Number five is our entire body is, is made up of uh, three basic components. This is how I, I teach nutrition. Uh, our primary basic component, the one component that we have the highest amount of in our body is water. The next one's dirt. If you look at the periodic table, that's what dirt's made of, and that's exactly what our body's made of. Okay, Our body is made of, I tell people the periodic table is the body's ingredient list. Okay, All those different elements are what our body is made of. And if you're missing pieces of, of the puzzle, you're going to get sick. Okay? So we have to replace all of those elements at some point. Okay? What about, like, the, the different elements on the, the periodic table? Aren't there some that are toxic and some that are, are, uh, some that are healthy, some that are toxic, right? Well, um, in reality... Everything on the periodic table, depending on the form it is in, is either toxic or beneficial. Okay, you can become toxic with anything on the periodic table, even if it's, you know, calcium. Calcium can be toxic depending on the form it is in. Okay, you got. Um, it would take a, a significant amount of calcium to make you toxic. But calcium, dependent on it, the form it comes in, is is potential could become toxic. Um, mercury, on the other hand, is toxic in almost any form. <laughs> um, it's uh, we haven't discovered what that does in the body, except for break things down and make them go bad. But we uh, <laughs> we have uh, uh, we haven't discovered what exactly it's used. For it's necessity is for it has to be necessity because it's on the periodic table but um, we don't know what that is yet what we do know is that uh, minerals in the form of salts are very easily they become toxic very easily okay they build up in the system real quickly okay minerals in an ionic form don't build up in the body as quickly okay and they they're easier for the body to transport they're smaller packages okay um 
Now let me let me talk about that real quick before we move on to number five. Um, one of the things that fulvic acid does when you take it internally is it ionizes those salts that are built up in the body. Okay, um, in the mitochondria, the the power generator for the cell, you know where the uh, uh, the part of the cell that generates ATP or cellular energy that um, that generator uses nutrients. Okay, it spins nutrients. Nutrients get fed into the generator, you know, kind of into the furnace and get spent. And when they're spent, those spent nutrients become free radicals or things that can damage the rest of the system. In the uh, uh, within the mitochondria, when those those nutrients become free radicals they 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 become fragments of the the original material and those fragments start floating around looking for something else to to level it out to balance it out because it's you know it's like a a three-legged chair <laughs> you know it's missing a leg you know and so it has to have that other leg you know it needs another peg in it you know in uh, so as they're bouncing around they start they'll bump up against the the tissue of the cell or you know the membranes and whatnot and rob nutrients to balance them out well that causes cellular damage and uh, fulvic acid has the capacity of of being able to repair those free radicals turning them back into nutrition um, another thing that uh, fulvic acid does with salts is it turns salts, it ionizes salt back into usable nutrition. Okay, um, when you have salt build up, you it, wherever salt builds up, you start calcifying, which is not good. You know, like think of an aorta as it coming, you know, the main artery coming out of the heart. Well, as it, salt builds up in it, it starts to calcify. And all of a sudden, it doesn't expand and contract when your heart expands and contracts. That's not good. <laughs> you know, uh, if you get a calcium deposit in your shoulder, okay, or in a joint, it causes arthritis. It's terrible. It's not good, you know. Um, fulvic acid ionizes those types of deposits, turns them back into usable nutrients. It doesn't do it immediately. It takes time. You know, these are their deposits, you know. Um, we uh, we demonstrated this in a, an agricultural experiment. We we took some salt. We worked down in the salt flats here in, in Nevada. We uh, treated five acres of salt flats with a fulvic acid solution, and we we seeded. We sprayed the uh, the salt flat with our fulvic acid solution, and then we seeded the salt flat with heirloom alfalfa seeds which don't grow in a salty environment and uh, we later on that year harvested a crop of alfalfa that grew on a salt flat we had 18 to 24 inches of salt that uh, that had to work through when we were done uh, with our treatment of that soil or that salt flat, it wasn't soil, it was soil when we were done with it. Um, we had about six to eight inches of black uh, topsoil. We had converted that salt flat, that salt, into usable nutrients and it does the same thing in our body. You know, um, back to the, the components of the body, we have water, we have the periodic table, okay, or dirt. <laughs> And then moving on to number five, the fifth thing that uh, fulvic acid does in our body is it works with our third component. Our third component is microbes. Depending on which textbooks you, you study now, there are anywhere from 10 up to 100 times more microbes in our body than there are cells. And those microbes dependent on the internal environment of our body can either be helpful in rebuild our genetics even our dna and rebuild our tissues and, and produce the enzymes that build up our body and repair our body and everything or 
they can produce everything that causes our body to fall apart and deteriorate. Um, and it all is dependent on the internal environment of our body. Well, that internal environment is dependent on a couple of things. One is your pH. Another is your, your nutrition. You're the amount of nutrients and the amount of usable nutrients in your body. Another is the rate of oxidation. Okay, and oxidation happens as a result of uh, chemicals breaking down in the body. Okay, but those free radicals I talked about earlier, produced by the, the mitochondria as, as it burns through nutrients, well, that creates oxidative damage. That's what that damage is. That's why we call uh, things that neutralize free radicals, we call them antioxidants because they reduce oxidative damage, okay? So your rate of oxidative damage in your body, your nutrition, and also your pH, those things are the most influential. Uh, they, they influence the microbes in our body more than anything else. Okay, or depending on those three, uh, th three things, pH, nutrition, uh, and your uh, rate of oxidation, okay, those three, three things will determine which direction your microbes go, whether they become, you know, life building or life decomposing, okay? They're either going to build you, rebuild you and keep building you up, or they're going to tear you down, depending on your pH, your nutritional profile, and your rate of oxidation. One of the other things that affects our rate of oxidation is toxicity. When toxins are in your bloodstream, they're floating around in your bloodstream, okay, everything that they hit, they damage. Okay, so it's, it's, it's kind of like having, a, a, you know, a spiky burr <laughs> bounce around in a in your bloodstream okay and everywhere it it hits it bumps okay it, it it irritates everything okay and that irritation creates more oxidation okay and so all toxins that's how they damage our body they cause our body to our cells to oxidize faster than they they should okay and therefore the cells break down faster Therefore, they have to be repaired. Therefore, you become fatigued. That's the the fatigue process. That's what causes so much fatigue in in a, a toxin toxicity issue. Is uh, so many cells are being broken down because of being exposed to these toxins that uh, your body has to spend all that energy in nutrition and all you know has to break the bank almost to rebuild those tissue those cells and everything it takes a lot of energy so the three things that massively affect our microbes are our pH our nutrition and our rate of oxidation okay um, rate of oxidation the higher our rate of oxidation the more waste gets developed in our, our body okay the as the waste builds up our pH drops Okay, creating it changes the environment. Okay, that's one of the first things. Remember, pH is one of the first things. So, that as that pH drops because of the uh, the waste building up in the system, we have we, you know it starts to negatively affect our our microbes. So in with fulvic acid, fulvic acid modulates the pH. Okay, so regulates it raises it up or down whichever direction it needs to go to fit the microbes in the body okay and so if we can set the right environment for those microbes that that build up our body which is what fulvic acid does we we have an anti-aging effect we have um, disease prevention effect we have uh, you know a remedial effect on existing conditions we have uh you know improvement of function and all these different things that happens with this um you know 
fulvic acid act, acts as the delivery man and the, the trash man, you know, the garbage man. And so we're correcting that nutrition on one hand, but we also start correcting that rate of oxidation, that toxicity issue also with fulvic acid. What I've done with my formulas here is all my formulas, I have bound different components to fulvic acid to create these different formulas. Like Super Earth Energy has, I've bound uh, various minerals, chromium, zinc, magnesium, and then B vitamins have bound to fulvic acid and along with binding the medicinal mushroom, which is a, an adaptogen, helps the body adapt to all kinds of stress, cordyceps to fulvic acid. And that's what my super earth energy is, is made of. That's what we've done here. So when you take the super earth energy, the fulvic acid delivers these components to whatever cell in your body needs them. And so you get the, uh, the specific nutrition from the, the cordyceps mushrooms, which enhance immune system, enhance the ability to, to metabolize oxygen, uh, enhance all these different uh, uh, abilities to uh, withstand stress or adapt to stress. Um, which I don't know, you know, in our environment today, we have we have four seasons, just like they always had, but then we have all kinds of crazy things happening all day long. And, you know, we, we sit at desks and work while we drink coffee all day long. And, <laughs> you know, people are, are geared for stressed, to be stressed and overstressed. And so, you know, when they uh, get out of work, they don't adapt to going home very well because they're all keyed up and stressed from, you know, being at the office and drinking coffee all day. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm against drinking coffee, but, you know, um, excessive stimulants, okay, excessive stimulation, and people aren't, they're not eating right, you know, so they have all these different stressors happening. And so, you know, we're a whole society of stressed out people, and we desperately need help adapting. And so that's what our super earth energy was was. That's how I designed that. That's what it was designed for. Uh, in Flamagon, my other formula in Flamagon, uh, we have curcuminoids, which are a very large molecule and difficult to absorb in the intestines. But curcuminoids are one of the best anti-inflammatory compounds known to man. I uh, had a lot of patients that had a hard time taking enough curcumin to... Uh, to get a therapeutic benefit without causing their gut to go nuts. It just tore up their stomach. And so we took and bound the curcuminoids to fulvic acid and also bound uh, boswellic acid from boswellia or frankincense oil. And then some other Amazonian herbs. I came up with our my uh, inflammagon formula and it's very well tolerated. Most people don't ever have any trouble taking that in it both functions very well in, you know, from a therapeutic standpoint, but also has, um, it's very well tolerated. And then finally, um, my digestive detox is a humic acid based, uh, formula, which humic acid does have fulvic acid. That's what we extract the, uh, fulvic acid from. We actually start, we, <laughs> we have, uh, 400 different humic acid substances that we start with in our extraction process to create our fulvic acid. And uh, our reasoning for doing that is we wanted as many phytonutrients, as many DNA fragments, as much information in our fulvic acid as possible. And so we took it from, we were grabbing information from 400 different sources to make our fulvic acid. Um, but this humic substance that we're using in digestive detox, the reason we're using humic in this is the humic molecule is so large it doesn't leave the gut. And it lays the groundwork to become a prebiotic. It sets the environment in the gut to be perfect for 
growing beneficial microbes, all those good microbes in our gut. Okay. And it also is very healing. If you research humic acid for gut issues, you know, leaky gut, liver issues, colitis, ear, you know, um, all the itises in the GI tract, including uh, esophagitis. Uh, it's very, very healing for all of those those issues. And so we took and compounded uh, humic acid along with, you know, we have cascara sagrada, slippery elm bark, milk thistle, and buckthorn, and different things that are also very cleansing and healing of the digestive tract. And that's digestive detox. And uh, then our equalizer concentrate is our liquid form. It's straight fulvic acid. And what we did with that is we added back the the trace elements. So we get a large portion of the periodic table in one one supplement. In uh, So that's our fulvic acid supplements that we have available at this point in time. And we have um, very shortly here, we have a fulvic acid, humic acid based probiotic. We have um, a few other things coming down the pike. We have quite a few. We have a total of 40 different uh, formulas that are in route, but uh, at this point in time, we just have the, the four of them at work. So thank you, and uh, thanks for tuning in. And stay tuned. There's more, much more to come.